folks, it's Jamil Surfer for Gunstruck Reviews. I'm here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona, my favorite indoor facility with a six hour M17. You're gonna say, but wait a minute, you already did that video before. Well, yes, we did the video with the civilian version of the M17 when it first came out. Mine was, a uh, model was so early that it didn't even say M17, it said P320. I got that one uh, for an article I wrote for Gun Digest, but this one is actually a real military surplus pistol. They were uh, decommissioned, a whole bunch of them were decommissioned because the procurement for the pistol changed from the U.S. Army, from the M17 and M18. The original pistols had uh, FDE controls, like your uh, thumb safety, slide stop, mag catch, uh, trigger, and takedown lever were all FDE. So the procurement changed for those parts to be black and also the, the color of the slide uh, changed too for a different finish. So these were sent back to SIG in 2019. They were reconditioned, refurbished, and sold to the public in a very limited amount. This one here, this particular uh, pistol was, uh, I'm gonna read it to you, is serial number 1984, and it was delivered on January 9th, 2018, and it was returned back to SIG on uh, June 19th, 2019, and it was delivered to S Troop 4th Squadron 3rd Cavalry Regiment in Fort Hood, Texas. That's what he's, I don't know if he was deployed at any point into the Middle East, but I know that probably he stayed there in Texas in the hands of some uh, great military folks uh, being trained with it. This one came to me with a small grip frame and it had a piece of uh, paracord where the lanyard goes. I don't know why. And it has a uh, number six with a line underneath it on the grip. That's probably a, where it st stood on the rack. There is an, also a number six here. And there was something uh, written up in uh, white paint on the bottom. It shows a fair amount of wear. Um, one big difference from other than the um, control uh, changes from the civilian version is the way you remove the rear sight to put an RDS, which is actually the Delta Point uh, Pro. Uh, in the original pistol, you could push on this little button here and then take the uh, the back plate out to reach, you have to remove the uh, extractor plunger to remove the two screws that go underneath here. But this one is not the case. Uh, for the military version, you need a Torx uh, screwdriver to take the detent, push in, take the uh, back plate off, take the striker off, and there is only one screw in the bottom there on the striker channel. I did take it all apart once to clean it. It was uh, fairly dirty, had a lot of carbon in it and all that. And I uh, stuck it in my ultrasonic cleaner and cleaned it really well and properly lubricated it. Now let's go ahead and shoot it. We're gonna shoot Federal Ammunition Syntec Ammo. Of course, this one is the 124 grain bullet. I have several grains of bullets, so I had to look because I keep forgetting. So we're gonna go shoot it. It's about 10 yards. And let's try it. They have some fun. You know what? If you find one of these and that are really hard to find now, don't go out and sell it because these are actually collector's items. I think uh, SIG got back around 3,000 of them. Um, if you find one of these, uh, at first I would have told you not to pay too much money for it, but that's too late. The horse got out of the barn a long time ago. Prices on these keep going higher and higher and higher. This is a real honest to goodness collector's item. It's not easy to find, but it's an awesome pistol to own. Let's shoot it a little more. Well, you know what, guys? This is a really fun pistol, and like I said, if you find one, don't get rid of it. Um, it's really fun to shoot. 
uh, really accurate, of course, is a mil great military, great pistol. It's SIG quality. That's all I can say. I own several P320s from the normal standard one. I made a competition pistol out of one, and I carry one in the compact version. So guys, really, it's a great pistol. And like I always say, have fun and stay safe at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.